In this video tutorial we will show you how to do a preventive cleaning of the diesel particulate filter or DPF on Volkswagen Golf MK7 1.6 diesel from 2014 using the Gertike Tile DPF Cleaner. To clean the particulate filter or DPF on this VW Golf MK7 that has a mileage over 240,000 km or 150.000 miles, we will use one of the most effective DPF cleaners on the market. Gertectile DPF. Gertectile DPF also offers you a guarantee that if the DPF cleaner does not work, you can get your money back. If you follow the instructions specified on the product and did not obtain a lower pressure value than the one you started with, you get your money back. You should know that the Gertectile DPF cleaner has a neutral chemical formula that does not affect or react with the plastic or precious metals inside the particulate filter. 1. First, leave the engine running until the water temperature reaches 90 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, we are using an OBD tester that reads live data to scan for error codes. This way we find out that the car has a faulty EGR valve. 2. Check with the pressure gauge to see the pressure value from the particulate filter, DPF. And to do that you need to locate the differential pressure sensor or DPF pressure sensor on the Volkswagen Golf MK7 1.6 TDI. 3. To connect the pressure gauge to the differential pressure sensor hose, we will need to unscrew the bolt using a T25 Torx. Then remove the hose from the sensor using a clamp pliers. If you use the code tutorial auto, you will benefit from a 20% discount on the Gertectile solution. 4. It can be seen that when we accelerate the car at high RPM, the value remains the same, zero, which means that the particulate filter is not clogged. But as we are saying from the beginning, this is just a preventive cleaning of the particulate filter. The Gertectile cleaner comes with some accessories like an orange adapter and a hose through which the cleaner is poured into the particulate filter. The hose also comes with an adapter for the lambda sensor, in case we want to introduce the cleaner from there or to the temperature sensor. We connect the orange adapter instead of the bottle cap, then connect the hose to the pressure sensor and start pouring the cleaning liquid squeezing the bottle until it's empty with the engine off. 5. The next step is to stop the engine and introduce the Gertectile DPF cleaner into the exhaust manifold through that hose from the differential pressure sensor. If you use the code tutorial auto, you will benefit from a 20% discount on the Gertectile solution. 6. Let the Gertectile DPF cleaner act for about 15 minutes with the engine off. In this time you can install the pressure sensor back. You can already see that the car has started to emit white smoke from the exhaust muffler. This means that the solution has started to act, vaporizing all the hydrocarbons and removing the ash from the particulate filter. Remember that you can buy this Gertectile solution for cleaning the DPF using the code tutorial auto to benefit from a 20% discount on the full price.
7. Start the engine and leave it idling for about 10 to 15 minutes without revving and you will notice how a dense white smoke starts to come out of the exhaust muffler. This means that the ash and hydrocarbons in the filter are eliminated. 8. When there is no more smoke coming out of the exhaust, it means that the cleaner has finished its reaction and the procedure can be interrupted. It is recommended to drive the car for 10 to 15 minutes at a normal driving pace or to rev the engine at 2,500 RPM for a few minutes. 9. If you want to make sure that the DPF cleaner has done its job, repeat the procedure by checking the pressure value using the pressure gauge with the engine running. This way you will see if you have obtained a lower value than the one before cleaning. An acceptable value is between 60 to 80 bar, and a lower value indicates perfect cleaning. Don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel, Tutorial Auto. Thank you for watching.